We are going to use Dagger to make the manual dependency injection to automated dependency injection. Hello, my friends, and welcome again to our channel and our course. So, we see in the previous video how dependency injection work, and we have learned in the previous section and previous playlist how to create dependency injection app and clean architecture. Now, how about making these uh, automated and by using Dagger? and how to make it uh, very fast and ready for dependency injection and making our uh, app uh, more and more fast and real reliable. So we will start by constructor injection and we will learn about the, uh, the Dagger 2 implementation. But first, let me, uh, let me uh, illustrate some concepts. If we go to the coffee shop again, we need, if you are the, the owner of this coffee shop, if the customer or, the, of, or any person came to the coffee shop, you, as a coffee shop owner, you need to, de to determine two things, two main parts. The first one, the components, the coffee, the beans, the water. Regard the, the plant and the farm, and the river but in this case the coffee it will should be determined and the beans and the water so the second main thing that you need to determine is the weight so if the customer or any person came to the coffee shop the the waiter will uh, ask him what you need to uh, to drink or eat he t he tell uh, him that he need to drink coffee need this specific type of coffee and this specific type of coffee need to have a specific type of beans and specific water not the milk not the chocolate not and then it needs water so this specificity is very important so the owner of this shop would annotate the coffee uh, this type of coffee with this badge and this badge and this type of coffee need this type of beans. And this type of beans with this type of water make this type and the specific type of coffee. So, guys, specific beans with specific water uh, need uh, makes specific coffee. I mean by specific water, like not salty uh, and not milk, uh, not the chocolate, not, it is uh, water low sodium water and beans specific type of beans of coffee beans and to make this coffee uh, cup it needs uh, this type of beans and water and the waiter should uh, go and get, get this type of coffee so also the waiter should know and have a badge with this uh, specificity in order to go and get this type this is specific type of coffee. What this means, why I should know this, these are called dependency labels. So the dependency labels, the coffee and the beans and the water, it's called dependency label. And the water is called creator labels. Where I should see them, I will show you in the Android Studio and we will make an app that uses Dagger and these implementation in order to uh, uh, think about these uh, concepts so the customer will get into the, uh, the shop it will call the get coffee cup method this method will uh, call the creator and the creator will go and ask for dependency labels again how dagger will know know this using annotation processor uh, these processors and these annotations will write the code automatically based on annotations. I will not think, go in deep, deeply in annotation processors, but I should, uh, uh, but I should tell you that these uh, annotations will tell Dagger how to write the codes and how to use them and what what are the dependency labels and what are the creator labels. So. This would be the inject annotation and having uh, this badge 
and this is a component which is the waiter okay so the dependency labels would be at inject we are telling the uh, the she the chef that and the waiter to inject the water and the the coffee with the water and make the cup and the component which is the waiter we are telling this component to inject the beans with water and to make the coffee this is our uh, mission now let's go to android studio and transform these uh, theoretical things into practical so I have created this app, empty app. In order to implement Dagger, I will go to github.com slash google slash Dagger. I will scroll down to here, to the dependencies, and I will copy them. Go to Android Studio, to the gradle.gradle, I will make here dagger i will paste them and we see that 2.x we either uh, hover on it to get the latest uh, version or we can get the latest version from here so we go up and the latest releases is, is 2.35.1 so 2.35.1 I will copy it, I paste it here and paste it here. Okay. Click on sync now and Gradle is Im implemented correctly. Now I need to create two classes. These two classes, first one will be farm and it have an empty constructor here. I'll plus constructor an empty constructor I pressed alt plus insert and another one it is called river river class I will create also an empty constructor of it so these two classes the farm and river and I need one last uh, class that is called uh, coffee is called coffee this is the class as and inside this class I will create private farm farm and private river river and I need to create a, a dependency a manual dependency injection so I will create a constructor having these two parameters so I am injecting uh, these two uh, constructor uh, these two parameters the form and the river inside the constructor of the coffee so this is the manual dependency injection so the manual dependency injection here manual dependency depend dependency injection Uh, will uh, in order to create the manual dependency injection and make a coffee cup I need to create the farm here the farm 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 equal new farm and I need to create also a river for river because I need to pass them And in order to create a coffee, I need to pass coffee equal new coffee. And I need to pass the farm and a river. So this is the manual dependency injection. And to use it, we, uh, we can uh, call the coffee uh, object. This is the manual dependency injection. But we don't need to use this always. Every time we need to make uh, our code clean and uh, uh, use dependency injection, we are not going to test it by creating real objects. We will use uh, the magic of dagger. So how to use it? I will create a class, 
I will remove, uh, sorry, I will create a new class called, called coffee component. This is as the waiter. This is a waiter. So, so think it, think, think about this class as the waiter in coffee shop okay so in this co uh, comp uh, class i will make it as interface because uh, the waiter is just an interface he cannot be, uh, make anything and and we will use annotate annotation and i will annotate it as in a component so a component of dagger you see guys a component of dagger okay so this is the magic of dagger it is reducing the boilerplates and we specify the components and he will generate for us the uh, the the correct one the correct quotes so coffee dot get coffee cup so it's very it's very simple i'm creating an interface annotated by the component and i'm telling him, him that i need to get a coffee cup uh, object and method of type coffee so returning it would be a coffee and i need to go to the coffee so control and uh, left click I will go to this class so I will annotate this class by inject you remember guys at in the pre in the uh, in the starting of this video I have uh, told you about the inject and the component so the inject would be the com the the beans the coffee cup and the water so these are the injecting comp injected components and the component would be the waiter so inject i will import the class and i i will see that there is an error but why is this error because we need to annotate all these dependencies so the coffee will depends on the farm and the river so i need to go to the farm I will annotate it as inject and in uh, sorry in this uh, the coffee here I need to cut it from here and paste it here at the constructor so inject at the constructor and it depends as I told you it depends on the form and river I need to add the constructor for here inject and i will go to the farm and here before the constructor i will add the inject um inject annotation so what i have do uh, done you see it like this that farm consumes farm this is the farm uh, constructor and this is the river and constructor. I have labeled them by annotated the uh, inject and the coffee also will be the inject. So the main part is the coffee. It will inject the farm and the river. And here we go with what, so what we have uh, benefit for what we have, uh, what is the benefit of using this? Using dagger, I will remove this, all these boilerplate, all these codes, and using dagger, it is very important to, uh, it's very simple to make coffee component. I will implement, I will create a coffee component, coffee component equal dagger, see guys, dagger coffee component. So. Uh, the generated class would be here coffee 
Sometimes you may encounter that dagger coffee component is not uh, found and you have an error. Just uh, run the application and it works fine. And if you don't uh, have, uh, if you, uh, if the error is not uh, disappearing, please add these dependencies for more safe. So add the dagger, dot, uh, uh, two points dagger and dagger uh, compiler and then with the latest version. So if any error with uh, this will may occur, you may uh, run the application or add these uh, additional dependencies. So let's go again to the coffee component dot get coffee cup and run our application. So you guys, you see that uh, it's very simple to use uh, Dagger. Uh, it, it's not very simple, but it's complicated, but we are going to uh, make uh, it uh, very clear in this course. So the coffee component, uh, this is the interface that we have get an uh, instantiate and generated uh, automatically a class from it. So if we go to the dagger coffee component, click uh, control and the left mouse, we see that there is a get coffee cup and returning a new and new farm and a new river. So these boilerplate codes are uh, been written automatically using dagger. So it's very easy to learn this way dagger. So dagger now generated the boilerplate codes automatically so no need to write the farm and create a new object of farm a new object from river every time we need to create a coffee cup and we need to test it so this is uh, the use of dagger it's very simple uh, using creating a coffee component here um, a coffee component uh, interface we annotate it by component which is the waiter and we create two classes the coffee uh, the river the farm and the coffee uh, the coffee we need to create in the in constructor injection to create a farm and river and river need to be injected so farm and river would be injected inside the coffee a class inside the coffee constructor and to use it we need the coffee component to deliver it with the waiter so these are the dependency labels and these are the this is the waiter for uh, our coffee cup that delivers us to the main activity and using dagger it's very simple to make the coffee cup Thank you guys. We uh, will go in the next videos to more and more complicated uh, uh, tutorials and we'll learn about models and uh, the other annotations in Dagger. Stay tuned. I hope you rate uh, us five stars on Udemy and subscribe to our YouTube channel to join our family.